Hello again. We're looking at another formula that in, uses logarithms, another one that's important to science, especially you're going to see this one in first year physics a lot. This is the decibel scale, which is all about sound intensity, which is really, you can think, how loud sound is. That's what you can equate this to. And it's taking two different ways of representing that loudness or that intensity. So we have this I, which is a normal intensity, which is normally a number that's kind of meaningless seeming. It's hard to compare because it's, some, it's to an exponent that's very large negative normally. So you might have something like 10 to the negative 6, which is hard to compare numbers in that range. But you get to convert to the decibel scale, which is much more manageable numbers. It's comparing, say, 57 and 72. Uh, you might have, say, 50, which is something like a quiet neighborhood, all the way up to something like 120, which is where you start actually getting damage to your ears. So it's a much more manageable scale. That's why we really use this. But what's the formula? We got beta, which is kind of a B with a curly sign on it. Beta, the decibel sound, is equal to 10 decibels, which is just a number. Wrote that, pretty messy, but you get the point. And that is times log of I over IO. This 10 decibels, often it's just written as 10, but this is decibels is written in because that's what the, law, the um, decibel scale is measured in. So this is just for consistency of units. I might drop the dB in the rest of the question just because we know that's units only. It's not, it's just the number 10 in decibels. So. What is this formula actually doing? We got beta, which is the decibel level. And we're taking the log of the intensity. I is the intensity of what we're looking at. And IO is a reference frame. It's an intensity level we know. It's the base frame that's been defined. It's the lowest threshold of hearing. I believe it's IO is 10 to the negative 16. But it's just a reference frame. It's a number. That's all. This is a number. An ugly number, but so what? It's a reference we're comparing to a number we always know. So in our case, we're going to look at generally solving for i. This is something you'd often be doing. You might know what beta is, you'd always know what IO is, and maybe you're trying to solve the intensity that relates to a certain decibel level. Or vice versa, depending on what you're doing, but we're choosing to solve for i. So, what do we got? First things first, we want to get towards i. Well, I'm going to rewrite this out for a second. We've got beta, and again, I'm going to drop the db. So I'm just going to write this as 10 log of i over io. We know this is decibels. Also bear in mind that if you don't have a base written, it's log to the base 10. Decibels is log to the base 10. Important to keep in mind later. Well, if I want to get to the i, I'm going to have to get rid of this log. But before I can get rid of the log, I've got to get rid of this 10. So I've got to divide both sides by 10. So beta over 10 is equal to log of i over i o. As always, if I want to get rid of a logarithm, I put both sides, I raise the, I put them to whatever the base is, and that I put everything to the exponent. So in other words, I'm putting to the 10 on both sides. Again, this you can think is log to the base 10. We normally don't bother writing it, but we could if we wanted. And these will cancel. And we're left with 10 to the beta over 10 on the one side, all equals i over i o. Want to get i on its own? Multiply both sides by i o. Same basic tricks we've been using this whole time. So if I want, I can reorder this just to clean it up. Remember, it doesn't matter if I put i o after or in front. I'm putting it in front just to make it look nicer. And that's all equal to i, the intensity. So comparing the i, the intensity, to decibel scale. Normally, again, decibel scale is actually a more logical one, the more useful for comparison terms. But it's still showing you how to use this formula, which you're going to see for sure in first year physics if you take it. So goodbye.